games. You're in the game. <laughs> What's up, your beast? It's Thumbs, and in this one I got four spots you can camp from on the Beast from Beyond. All of these spots require you to leave a door closed and pick up some C4. I turned on the power and tested these against zombies. If you're looking for a strategy for camping cryptids with the power off, I will be dropping a separate video with my strategy for that in a couple days time. So keep an eye out for it, unless you're watching this video late, then it will be featured in the end screen of this video. Now let's take a look at some spots you can camp in solo or co-op games starting with the arcade. In order to camp effectively in the arcade, you'll have to place all four C4s you're allowed to have on the map. One goes in front of the ski ball game, and one in between the squirt gun race and the teeth game. You also want to leave the door to the street closed and use the bathroom exit to access that area while using this spot. The third C4 goes in front of the shooting gallery in the center, but you'll have to be careful here. It must be placed on the half wall at the front of the range. C4 will fall through the floor and be useless if you come up short of the wall, so take your time. The fourth spot you want to block is right next to the basketball machine on the floor. This will cause the zombies to spawn outside of the room and occasionally behind the counter with the cash register. If you hang out just in front of the magic wheel, it'll cause all of the zombies to come in the door and turn right towards you, lining up in front of the snack counter where the odd zombie who spawns in there will join up with them. This makes them incredibly easy to kill and maximizes penetration damage, making this spot ideal for the UDM stalker and its hipfire godliness. But most of your favorite ballistics should do well here. This spot works well on solo as it provides a reasonably sized area to train zombies in should you become overrun during a reload or have to deal with a slasher. It works even better in co-op games as a second player can grab C4 and toss one behind the snack bar creating a choke point at the entry door that all players can focus fire on. It has enough room for a 4 player camp without anybody blocking the view or firing line of anybody else. The next spot is just outside the theater in the hallway. You'll have to leave the door at the end of the hallway closed and place two C4s to block spawns in this spot. The first C4 placement is next to the red chair closest to the end of the hallway. If you're unsure, just wait for a zombie to spawn and drop one in the ring he leaves behind. Actually, drop one anywhere near it and you'll be good. The other is going to be in front of those double doors all the way at the back. I let a zombie spawn so you could see the exact location, but again, just drop one in the vicinity. Now once these two spots are covered, and as long as the door stays shut, you'll be able to camp at the end of the hallway with one to four players, no problem. If you're going to push up the hallway like I do in this clip, make sure at least one player stays at the back after round 20 because kung fu zombies will still spawn behind you. On solo, you want to be especially aware of this and stay near the back. The only escape in this spot is out the back door, but you can train in the hallway similar to Polar Peak if you must. In any event, you shouldn't need to run as the zombies come from a good distance away from you. In solo games, get a feel for the spawn rate of zombies coming from inside the theater and time your reloads around them. You shouldn't have to worry about being overrun until after the mid-30s. The next spot is a little tricky for kung fu zombies, but other than that, it works pretty well for regular zombies. In the alley by the door to the bathroom, you'll need three C4 placements. The first is over the fence behind you, and the second is on this pile of rags by the electrical pipes on the wall here. The spawn for the fence placement is actually closer to the center, but anywhere even remotely close should work as long as you clear the fence. The stupid ninja zombies will spawn right in your face, so I recommend a gun with some stopping power like the Sentinel or FHR to drop them as quick as possible, or possibly falling back to the hallway spot for kung fu rounds as C4 is not required to deal with those fuckers. The third spot is right next to the trash bags on the right side at the back of the alley, and once you cover that, all the zombies will spawn on the other side of the choke point downrange. This spot is great for one or two players, but it has some drawbacks. Space is limited, and there's really no escape route that doesn't blow your camping spot. If you run out of ammo in the middle of the round or get overrun, your only choice is to open the door to the bathroom, and this makes the spot much tougher to camp. It does funnel all the zombies through a narrow choke point between the buildings and provides great sight lines from up close or all the way back near the fence. If you start up close and retreat as needed for reloads, you can maintain a firing line on the zombies the whole time. The ice perk comes in real handy on the change shoes for this spot as it can block the choke point for a second and allow for a reload. The last spot is in the hallway on the other side of the teleport from the alley spot. You can block either window with one C4 placed in the back like so. And that's all you need to do with C4, meaning that one player can set up both of these last two spots at the same time and switch back and forth between them. This is the best spot on the map for camping in my opinion. I recommend leaving the door to the center room closed and blocking the spawns in the window closest to it. This leaves all zombies coming from the med bay and the window at the other end. One really nice feature of this spot is the laser trap. It will help save ammo and can cover you for reloads, plus it's great for when the slasher shows up. It kills all the zombies and allows you to focus fire on him. It provides a long run out and the hallway is wide enough for a makeshift train if things get really rough. 
The teleporter makes a pretty good escape route, but it is at the other end of the hallway. I stand right next to the button for the laser trap, which keeps all the zombies on that side of the hallway and allows for quick activation if I get a slasher or lose track of my ammo count. Honestly, with a Mauler Sentinel, you could probably camp this spot to round 45. I only went as high as 37 in this game, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all back here for the next one.